I'm here because, because I like to learn the two of them. I like to learn English and Arabic. To learn English, to speak with the people, make me make a friends with the people from in Ireland. I like to learn Arabic because I'm staying here, I'm living here. I don't want to forget my mother language because it's very nice. And we like to learn Arabic. <laughs> I know how to write Arabic, but like when three years ago, I write just English. My Arabic line was not, not good. I want like to practice my Arabic writing. This program is needed because we have had an influx of students from Syria over the last um, couple of years um, whose language needs were greater than students who have arrived to us previously. So some students were coming to us with very basic literacy skills, some with no literacy skills. So we felt that they needed an extra program, an extra initiative that would bring them on another further step or two. This program is really necessary to these students who had to leave their countries and they didn't have a chance to go to school to learn how to read and write. So the, this program is really necessary to teach them how to read and write and to enhance their reading and writing skills. Also, the other part of this program is to teach these newcomers English because they need English to be able to communicate and to go to class and then be able to understand the content in each class. When some of the students arrived, they had a, a zero level of English, pre-literate, where they didn't even know their alphabet. So we've had a huge range of abilities where some um, were pre-literate, but some were a bit more advanced. So it's just to be able to take, take them from that level and increase their proficiency in English, whether it's verbal and um, listening skills, writing skills, or reading skills. So we have um, worked slowly on bringing each level up uh, at an individual level and as a group level. Yeah, we do, we learn Arabic, English together one thing. I like to learn more Arabic, do not forget. بالانجليزي <تصفيق> During this course, we focus on writing and reading. We try to to make it like fun and interesting, and with a song, some games, uh, computer applications. So it was exciting for them. The most important for me, I was happy because we found some improvement. In the beginning, they they couldn't understand what the school is. Uh, some of them left the school for seven or eight years, so they didn't know how to listen carefully. But now, the, the good things, they are on the track. I can read better Arabic, because I don't know how to read Arabic a lot. Yeah, I just learned how to read Arabic and English. I take my English like a uh, became good because uh, the last days it was a little bit bad but now it, it's good it sounds good so what we've heard from interviews that we've done with language support teachers from interviews that we've done with community organizations who provide kind of language supports is that there simply isn't enough uh, language support available for them and that brings about a whole other host of issues that uh, they won't be able to achieve their academic outcomes. They start to suffer, you know, maybe with social isolation, with depression. 
Um, they're less likely to engage with their peers. They may be more likely to act out in the school environment. It is, of course, two weeks is really short, but we saw, um, you know, huge um, um, improvement. The main thing I'm going to say, confidence. We see these students, they have more confident. They are, um, um, you know, speaking more English. They are using English at the same time. They are reading Arabic and writing Arabic. So I suppose at the end of the programme, we want the students to be engaged. We want them to be more confident in their learning. We want to bridge the gap for them from where they were at the end of the year in order that they can spring them into learning when they come back to us in September. Mm -hmm.